Hi, once again, now we're going to learn about selection. Okay, uh, often selection is a needed, much needed uh, thing in programming. Now, we most often associate selection with if and else. So, in our programs, we normally have to handle many circumstances where if this happens, then we will do this, else we will do something. Okay, so it's an if else. So, this is called a selection statement. Uh, it controls the flow of instructions in a computer program and it's based on certain conditions. If this condition, then this. If another condition, then something else. Okay, so uh, one example is a health check, okay, where we have a temperature variable and having a double, okay, and then we take temperature from user input and if temperature is above 37.0, which we know to be in degrees Celsius, obviously, then we output the message box saying you are having a fever, okay? Else, message box, uh, you are doing okay, which means, actually, if we have managed to come here, which it means that our temperature is less than 37 degrees, all right? Okay, so how do we implement uh, if else in Excel VBA is using uh, the following syntax, if this, then, okay, what the what we want to do, then else, then uh, what we want to do, and then we do a and if, okay. So, uh, what we can do next is okay, write a VBA program that determines the result of division of two numbers, okay. So that's very simple. We just take two numbers, divide one by the other. But okay, we know that okay. As long as we divide anything by zero, we get an error, or rather, we get an infinity value. Okay, so we want to check that. Okay, the program should check for divide by zero error. Okay, so let's go back to our Excel sheet, and then we go to our code editor. Okay, we create a new function. In this case, okay, let me create it at the top. Okay, okay, okay. call it sub. Okay, and then uh, divide. Okay, so I have the divide here. So I will take two numbers. Okay, a and uh, integer, and b as an integer. Okay, and then I'll take user input. Okay, a equals to input on the box. Okay, and then enter. Okay, value Okay, B Simply input box Okay Enter divisor Okay And now what I'll do this but I'll check that Okay Okay Okay, I'm gonna check here I'll check That divisor is not zero. Very important because if not, then we get an error, right? Okay. Now let's try not doing this first. Okay. So let's just do a divide. So we declare a third variable. Okay. Then C S. Now I'll declare a double now. Okay. Because an integer divided by integer might give you a double. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's not worry about that too much here now. So C goes to A divided by B. Okay. And then we'll message box. Okay, message box uh, B then, a uh, C. Okay, so let's see what happens then. Okay, enter value. Uh, I have 10 divided by 2. Give me 5. Okay, try that again. 10 divided by, this time put 0. But it gives me runtime error division by 0. So I don't want this to happen. Okay, why there's a runtime error is because it tries to divide 10 by 0 which gives you an infinite value. So it's a runtime error. Okay, so before I do this, I'll first check that if okay, b okay, if b is equals to 0 then okay, okay, I message Divisor cannot be zero, right? Okay, and then I do a else. 
Okay. Okay, let me just delimit them. Okay, else. C equals A divided B and I will message box. And then one more thing is we have to end the if statement. And if. Alright. So just checking of divisor. Let's put this comment over here. Okay, let's try that again now. Okay, 10 divided by 0. Okay, this implies it cannot be 0. But if I do 10 divided by 5, okay, it gives me 2. So my application is more robust now. Okay, now uh, we can do the same thing. Um, so what we have been doing is uh, if, okay, then this else we do something else okay uh, what we call here is a conditional expression where which you evaluate to whether it's true or false only these two b either equals to zero or b does not equal to zero so it's a either true or false okay over here we're doing b equals zero but we can say also b if b is not zero okay now not zero is represented by um this uh, open and closing arrow if b is not zero, we can proceed to do our formula. Okay. Else, which means b is zero, then you message divisor cannot be b zero, and this will give us the same output. Okay. And let me try this again. So if uh, ten divided by two five, okay, it still works fine. Now ten divide by 0 give divisor cannot be 0 okay now say you don't know what's going on okay because you don't know where has you know, the code been entered again what we can do is we can put it put the line break here okay let's stop this put the line break here okay and then we click here okay so we will step over shift at 8 enter value so essentially what it does is it runs the code line by line Okay, so you can slowly figure out what's going on. Shift F8 again, and divisor is 2. So 10 divided by 2. Now, B in this case is 2. Okay, so it's not 0. So we expect that it goes into here, right? So shift F8, yes, it does. Okay, then it does a formula, divide, and then message. Message box. And that's it. And end the uh, if. Okay, now if we try that again, this time around, with then uh, with a zero as divisor okay we'll carry on now b is now equal to zero so it will go into the else because it's not it's zero right so this statement returns false we come here and message this divisor cannot be zero and then it pops up this okay so that's the uh, so to summarize it all we have learned how to use the if and else conditions in Excel VBA, okay, which is uh, very important in programming.